Hello everyone. Now in this video, I will teach you how to design your own PCB on EasyDA.com. I will be teaching you this by designing a PCB of my previous project called Sonoff. So let's get started. So first of all, why I am using this EasyDA for designing? The reasons are simple. First of all, it's an online platform, so no need to download and install any software or its update. Everything is always up to date here. Secondly, I can easily share my PCB file using this platform. On EasyEDA, we have two options to save our PCB file. First is public and second is private. We can choose it according to our choice. So let's get started with the designing. In this video, I'll be teaching you my way of designing the PCB that may not be professional or the perfect way of designing. So my first step for designing the PCB is always to get a circuit diagram ready. For designing the circuit diagram, I always use Photoshop, which I am sure no one have used this for circuit designing. I mean, why someone will ever use Photoshop for this? But I do. I always use this for designing. After getting my circuit diagram ready, I go to EasyEDA website. If you are using this website for the first time, make sure you make an account here and then log into that account. After that, click on this new project. Give a random project name, give a short description of the project and select public or private according to your choice. Now click on create project. Now here, most of the people select the new schematic as they used to design the schematic first and then convert it into a PCB. But I directly select the new PCB. After that, you'll be getting this blank PCB file. Now one by one, I used to add all the components required and for that, click on this library button. Here, search for the component, for example, Highlink. Here you will get multiple options for the same component as all these are made by users like us. As you can see here it is written as user contributed. So select the one that feels perfect to you. I will select this as everything is perfectly labeled in this component. Similarly, one by one you need to add each and every component required for the particular project on this PCB. After adding all the components, it looks something like this. Now arrange all the components according to the shape and size of the PCB you want for your project. I will arrange it randomly as I want to just show you how to design a PCB. So all the components are arranged. Now I will select this track tool and as per the circuit diagram, I will make the connections. As the PCB I'm making is a two-layered PCB, that means we can make copper traces both on the top and bottom of the PCB. So the top layer traces are denoted by red color and the bottom layer traces are denoted by the blue color. Now you can even change the width of the traces by selecting this hand tool and then double clicking on the particular trace you want to change the width of. Okay, so from here, you can change the width of the traces. Now, why we need to change the width? Okay, so different width traces have different resistance and have different capacity of handling the current. So while searching, I got one table which shows what should be the width according to the current flowing through it. So this is the table which is available on my website. So choose the width according to the table. Secondly, you must have noticed that all the tracks are turning at 45 degree angle only. You know why? Reason which I was taught in my college was, if you make it to turn at 90 degree, in the process of etching, the tracks will get etched off easily, while the 45 degree tracks don't get etched off easily while it stays on the PCB. And second reason they used to give me was the electrons at 90 degree junction produces the electromagnetic waves, which may interfere while working with the high frequency signals. 
So we use to avoid 90 degree and uses the 45 degree angles. Well, what I believe is that 45 degree angle looks neat and professional as compared to the 90 degree turns. So go for 45 degree angles only. So yeah, I'm done with all the connection of the components according to the circuit diagram. Now we need to make the outer border of the PCB. Now for that, select this track tool and select this purple color, which denotes the outer border of the PCB. Now I will make the outer border in a rectangular form. So here is the PCB. Now we can change the sharp rectangular corners to the curved corners by selecting this outer track and here you can change the curves. So yeah, we are done with the designing of our own PCB. Now we will save this file and, and after that download this in a Gerber file format from here. Now we can easily order this PCB online from glcpcb.com. We just need to upload this Gerber file and select the payment method. I have ordered this PCB. Now one thing which I left was how to add text on the PCB. So select this text tool and click wherever you want the text to be. Write down your own custom text and you can even select the layer on which the text should be printed. You can even get the holes drilled on the PCB by selecting this tool. So I ordered this PCB in white color masking which looks something like this. Neat and clean. I have ordered several PCBs from GLC PCB and I never got disappointment from them. So try out GLC PCB once and experience the quality on your own. So yeah, this is it about this video. I hope you got the idea on how to design your own PCBs online. Subscribe my channel if you want to learn more projects on IoT, automation and electronics. So wait for my next project until then explore, learn, share with me. Take your SMS.